exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Charlotte Hornets Legends Fancy Draft Series here on NBA 2K22 or as I like to call them, you guys know it, say it with me, the Charlotte Hornets. That's right, we are back with another episode and if you missed the last couple episodes, they've been pretty good, but especially the last one, it was our NBA Playoffs episode the third season of the nba playoffs have come and gone i will not spoil it i'll give you a chance to go back and watch it if you have not three two one all right so you either don't care or you don't want to watch it <laughs> i will tell you now we won the nba championship two out of three ladies and gentlemen we won in year number one we lost to the pelicans in year number two last season and now we got our revenge because Michael Jordan was on both the Pelicans and now the Clippers team that we just played in this past postseason in the NBA Finals, and we won it. Shaq was the uh, the MVP of the Finals and of the regular season, so it was the year of the Shaq here in, in uh, the Legends of Fantasy Draft series. But now it's time for the most important episode of the series every year is the post... Is, I always say that, is the off-season. I always get the postseason, the off-season mixed up for some stupid reason because I'm dumb. It's the off-season. The most important episode of the entire series every year is the off-season because we get to make moves, we get to change up the roster, improve the team, trade for players, sign players in free agency, and this free agency class, ladies and gentlemen, is massive. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. Make sure to smash that like button if you are excited, hit that notification bell and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. Love to have you. Let's get into some off-season action and spend some money. Here we are, right where we left off in the NBA Finals. Four to three was the series victory for the Hornets. If you remember, the Hornets or the Clippers blew a 3-0 lead. They won the first three games of the series, and then we came back with four straight because we are the team of destiny. So we are going to advance. Shaq was the Finals MVP. We have done three full seasons now. We are entering year number four after this video is over. Retirements. Andrew Bogut, uh, Eric Bledsoe, Danny Granger, Ricky Rubio, Isaiah Thomas, DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, these are all the older guys, I think, because we have a younger version of DeMarcus, I think, right? I can't remember. Who cares? These guys don't really matter. They weren't on a team anyway. Staff retirements, Lloyd Pierce, um, Walter Hall, and Cody Anderson. Team doctor for the, for the Blazers, retired after 10 years, so good for him. Let him just go and, and live his life. I don't think we're going to change any of these draft lottery revert system used in 2018 worst team has 25 percent chance of the number one pick nah we'll keep everything how it is uh yeah we could turn it back to um this one would turn it back to east versus west i like the the all-star draft it's fine it doesn't matter we're, we're gonna keep everything rejected we're gonna move on the draft lottery i don't think we have a pick do we at least not in the top oh we have brooklyn's pick and we have denver's pick so we have two chances in the lottery that's cool. All right, we'll, we'll go through and we'll watch the lottery here. I'm going to put the headphones on real quick so I can hear it. I didn't mean to hit that. That's my bad. <laughs> All right, so the 76ers get it via Saint, uh, San Antonio. The Kings have the best projection at 13, and they stay at 13. All right, we have two chances, remember, at, this, at the number one pick. Can we get it? That'd be pretty sick if we could. The Raptors, because we could use it to trade for something. The Raptors get the 12th pick. The Grizzlies get the no the thunder move down and they get the uh they get the 11th pick so that means the grizzlies are in the top four now the mavericks at 10 and the mavericks stay at 10 all right who's got number nine the pelicans have nine i think they have two picks in here as well and they stay at nine via los los angeles and here's their next pick they have the eighth pick as well and they stay that sucks <laughs> they couldn't move up either one of their picks uh, that one's via the Bucks. Number seven is the Hawks. Will they stay? They do. So the Hawks stay at seven. We know the Grizzlies are in the top four. Here's our first one. Will we move up? We will move up. 
We've jumped in the top four, so we know two top four teams guaranteed. It's us and the Grizzlies. The Pacers. We fall to five with the Brooklyn pick. Okay, but we are guaranteed a top four pick here. That is okay. The Pacers. The Grizzlies fall to four. We are guaranteed a top three pick in the draft, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the Pacers. Will they get the third pick? They will get the third pick. We are guaranteed a top two pick in the draft. This is epic. Here we are. Number two, we get the second pick thanks to Denver. All right, and then the number one overall pick goes to the Chicago Bulls. Congratulations to them. But we jumped up to the number two pick and the number five pick. We can use those picks either to draft somebody, obviously, or to trade. That would be amazing. I think we have a third pick. Oh, I might have traded the third pick. That's right. So I think we only have two picks in this draft, and that is the two top five picks, which is just crazy. So let's go back to our um our trades so if we take a look at our picks we have the second overall pick we have the fifth overall pick and then we have two seconds so we can definitely these tr these picks are gonna have value that's got four star value this uh hold on i don't want to value that one this fifth round pick has three star value somebody's gonna want these picks i don't think i have anybody in the draft class this year prospect scouting yeah i think everybody it's just a basic draft class this year yeah there's nobody in here that's all right this guy's a B potential. Uh, what He's got Tim Duncan Hall of Fame. That guy, Raul Delgado, could be a stud. Uh, everybody else seems to be kind of cheeks. Carl Malone Hall of Fame. That's not a very good um, comparison. I don't like that one. All NBA for Fletcher. Ooh, Steven Singletary has Hall of Fame as well. His inside scoring is bad. What does he do? He's a power forward that just rebounds, I guess. I don't I don't know if that's the move. Jim Jackson. I don't think there's a pick, there's a player in here that we really have to have. Except for this this Raul Delgado guy. It seems pretty good. He's got great inside scoring, can shoot the ball a little bit, can space the floor. Um, great athleticism, decent rebounder. Not the greatest rebounder, but I don't know. I don't think he's I don't think he's the guy. I don't, think that, I don't think there's anybody in this draft that we need. So if we need to trade for somebody, that's definitely going to be the move. Staff signing. I don't think we need to sign anybody. I'm going to keep um, I'm going to keep head coach Billy Donovan. So I'm going to just move on to the NBA draft. I don't think we need to sign anybody else. We're going to keep Billy Donovan. And here we are. Now, this is big. Do we trade? We could trade. I was talking about in the last video, trading Duncan Robinson. And maybe we throw in... Um, that pick the fifth pick if we throw in D Duncan Robinson and the fifth overall pick we could get the sixth overall pick in Ed Davis we could get Mike Miller we could get nothing really that crazy Jamal Crawford in a pick in 2025 that could be good from the Kings um hmm we can get Greg Oden back John Wall uh, these draft picks or these trades aren't looking that great. I thought we might be able to get something a little bit better. Man, Mike Miller's getting a bag, that's for sure. I like the. I'm intrigued by the Jamal Crawford trade because we'd be getting somebody five years younger. We'd have to pay Jamal Crawford, but we also get a pick back in return. I'm not mad at this pick. I'm gonna negotiate this. I don't. I don't mind it. Let's get Jamal Crawford on the team. He's definitely, if he if we end up keeping him, he's definitely going to be a good player for us. Um, what about if we trade Peja in the second pick? Now we're talking. Now we're talking good players. Okay, here we go. So Jamal Murray, Michael Porter. What can, hold on. What can the first pick get me by itself for one? What's the value? It's got four-star value, so we can bring in some studs. We can bring in some studs with this pick. That is no doubt about that. So what if we throw in, not just Peja, what if we throw in Mello? If we throw in Mello, we can get some studs. What about Steve Nash? Um, Larry Bird and Paul Presley, Bradley Beal and Bob Dandridge, Dominique and Nick Anderson, Kyrie and Pau Gasol. Pau did just win Rookie of the Year and Six Man. And adding Kyrie to that would be interesting. Trey Young and Jason Terry. Uh, there's not. This one intrigues me a little bit. We have to give up Jermaine O'Neal as well. This one intrigues me. Kyrie and Powell 
for Nash and Jermaine and the second overall pick from the Rockets. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by it. No doubt about it. What if oh I was gonna say, what if I throw in one of these two guys? But they they don't they don't want to throw in. What if I throw in Kevin Love? Nothing for that. What about Miles Bridges? Or Mikhail Bridges. I mean I've been have I been saying Miles Bridges? I mean Mikhail. <laughs> uh so let's wait, we can't get Paige anymore? Or we can't throw in Paige in the deal? Oh, because I still have Shaq in there. No wonder. Uh so what about if I go back to Kevin Love? All right, so we could get the first overall pick from the Bulls and get Mike Miller, but I don't really want to draft anybody. I don't feel like we need to draft anybody. So that Kyrie trade is very interesting. I am very, very intrigued by that. Let's throw Peja back in there. I'm not seeing anything that I like with Peja. Um, but I am intrigued by that. Who was it? It was Nash. I am intrigued by this Houston Rockets deal with Kyrie because we'd also be getting uh, Pau Gasol. I am also intrigued by this a little bit. If it wasn't Bob Dandridge and maybe it was somebody else, I would definitely think about this. But this Kyrie trade, I am very, very intrigued by. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do this trade. The second overall pick, Steve Nash and Jermaine O'Neal for Kyrie and Pau Gasol. I think we have to do that deal. We don't need to draft anybody because they wouldn't play for us anyway. So those two picks are just trade assets. Uh, I like that. I like that deal. We don't have any more. Uh, we do have those two second round picks, but if, if I can trade them, I guess I will. Uh, anybody going to give me anything for them? We can get second round picks next year. Uh, sure. Just give me a couple second round picks from the Suns. That's fine. All right. So we have no more draft picks. We'll go to rookie signings. It doesn't really matter because uh, we don't have anybody. So team player options, no, nobody on the team player options. Anthony Davis declines his, Dame declines his, Charles Barkley, Reggie Miller, Cade accept theirs. Lamelo or Lonzo declined his. I thought that was Lamelo for a second. All right, qualifying offers. We have Lamelo and Jay Sean. I'm not going to extend or offer uh, Jay Sean. I'm going to let him walk, but we will extend Lamelo's. All right, moratorium for agency period. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. LeBron is restricted, which is not going to be good. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at this roster. We've added some pieces. We added Jamal Crawford. We added Kyrie. We added uh, Pau Gasol, who can play power forward for us. I might just move him to power forward right now, actually. He goes up to... Uh, he moves up to a, a 94. All right, so Powell's going to play power forward. So our starting lineup is Kyrie, Kobe, Mello, Powell, Shaq. That's an elite starting uh, starting five. Then off the bench, Penny, Bosh, Ray Allen, um, Kevin Love, and then we need a backup center because we let Al Harrington walk. So we need another center on the roster. All right, interesting. We could make Kevin Garnett that center. Hmm. Jason Kidd just did just have a really good postseason against us for uh, for the Magic. I do remember that. Dame's here with no offers. Tony Parker's got some offers, I think. Right? Or is that Magic? No, Tony Parker doesn't have any offers either. Lonzo has one offer from the restrict. Oh, that's Lamelo. There's Lonzo. He has no offers. We could bring in Lonzo. That wouldn't be. I wouldn't be mad at that. Dwayne Wade. We got to offer it LeBron and Kevin Garnett. So I'm going to offer it LeBron. It's not going to work because he's restricted. So I'm assuming he's going to get brought back by whoever he is. We'll give him a no trade clause. We'll give him a player option. We'll offer him that contract. Let's see what happens. View the offers. We are very, very unlikely to get him. We're offering the same contract that everybody else is offering him. So, <sighs> okay. So we will go and we will offer Kevin Garnett now. What are some of the the offers he's getting? He's getting three years, four years. So it seems like he wants a three-year contract with a player option and a no-trade clause. We can do that. We can certainly give you a three-year contract with a player option. We'll give you all the money, no trade clause, player option. Kevin Garnett, where does that put us? That puts us in third. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we're going to get getting these guys. 
we have one more offer here in the moratorium period uh, for day one. And I think none of these centers have any option or have any offers, which is very interesting. Dwayne Wade has 12 offers. Ah, oh, man, we are going to be in a battle, aren't we? We're going to be in a battle for anybody that we want. Allen Iverson has no offers. But do we want Allen Iverson on the team? I mean, obviously you want Allen Iverson on the team. He's Allen Iverson. But we have a lot of shooting guards. I don't know if he can get some playing time. I want him to get playing time. We need more big men. And Alonzo Mourning is that guy. Although Carl Anthony Towns did just make an all-NBA team, right? He made something. He was a stud this season. He, uh... He was all NBA second team. Okay. He was all NBA second team this year with 25 points per game. Alonzo Mourning only had 18. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Anthony Davis has been killing it in Brooklyn for these three seasons. Carl Anthony Towns does spread the, fo the floor better than Alonzo Mourning, and that's what I that's what I like. I like having my my big men spread the floor a little bit. So we'll use our final moratorium offer for the day on Carl Anthony Towns. So it looks like we will renounce the rights on you. We will decline the option on you. We'll cap hold or renounce the rights on Jay Sean. We'll cap hold Lamelo. It looks like we could be getting cat. LeBron has decided to sign with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Kevin Garnett has decided to sign with the Boston Celtics. That's interesting. Look at that. So we possibly get Carl Anthony Towns, but we pass. We don't get uh, LeBron, which is very annoying. Could we get Kawhi? Kawhi's 97 overall. We could use him in a trade to get LeBron. All right, uh, not a no trade clause, but a player option. All right, what did that, how'd that put us? That puts us in not even, oh my God, these guys are crazy. These guys are so crazy. Jerry West, Dame still has no offers. Lonzo still has no offers. We still have two offers left to to throw out there <sighs> Anthony Edwards has a ton of value Anthony Edwards has a ton of value so I'm thinking in terms of trade value right now that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking all right those are gonna be the offers for today or for this this day it looks like we're gonna get them the Memphis Grizzlies have decided to match the offer sheet Kawhi is a side sign with the Rockets. So we're not going to get... Oh, man, these restricted guys are killing me right now. We are going to get Dirk, though, it looks like, which is good. Uh, looks like Wade is signed somewhere as well. The Ball brothers still have... I think Lonzo has decent trade value. So does Dame. Dame obviously has good trade value. I'll throw an offer at Dame. I'll throw an offer at... Who, who would have good trade value? Pascal? I don't know if Pascal would have good trade value, though. David Robinson might have some decent trade value that we could possibly throw in there. I'll throw an offer at him. Um, who else would have good value? Devin Booker. We already had Devin Booker and we traded him away. Jason Kidd, maybe? Would Jason Kidd have more value or, or would Lonzo have more value? Hmm, this is interesting. I think Jason Kidd would have more value. We'll offer Jason Kidd, see what happens here. They're all agreeing to contracts, so we signed all of them. So Kevin Garnett goes to the Celtics, Magic to the Heat, LeBron to the Timberwolves, Wade to the Blazers, Tony Parker to the Clippers, Iverson to the Blazers, Alonzo Mourning to the Kings, Kawhi to the Rockets, Carmelo Malone to the Celtics, Anthony Davis to the Celtics building a super team with three power forwards. That's a crazy team. Gilbert Arenas, Jerry West to the Heat. Dirk, we saw, and then there's all our guys. Clay Thompson to the Wizards, Joe Dumars to the Lakers, uh, Jayon Brown to the Rockets, and Grizzlies get Anthony Edwards. Okay, so let's talk available players. So we might as well just offer LaMelo the bag because he's LaMelo Ball. So we'll offer him the contract. 
Lonzo's still here with no offers. I could sign him and trade him. That's obviously a very, very um, smart thing to do. Small forward wise, not really a lot of guys with great value. Power forward wise, Pascal has five offers now, so Sean Kemp still has no offers. Sean Kemp would be fun to have like coming off the bench. But I don't I don't really know. Mm. Joakim Noah. Ben Wallace, Roy Hibbert. How tall is Roy Hibbert again? 7'2. Maybe just get rebounds for a season. All right, we'll go with that. Lamella Ball's a prayer to setting off from the Lakers. Yes, we will match it, of course. I was going to pay him anyway, so we will match that. Keep going. A couple more days. Roy Hibbert signs. Was that all the guys that I needed to sign? I think that was. Let's go and talk to some people. So this roster is very, very large right now, but it, it will shorten down. It will shorten down. Don't worry. We got to find a way to get LeBron on the team. Is there a way to trade finder him or are we going to build a trade ourselves? We don't have a lot of draft picks, which is the only thing that worries me because I know the Timberwolves or any team likes draft picks. So we will go to the Timberwolves. We will talk to LeBron. There's no one that they want. So we might have to build our own trade here. So let's talk to the Timberwolves player. Let's talk to the Timberwolves. LeBron James. So who would be the piece that we'd be giving up in return? It'd have to be Carmelo. Carmelo would have to be the guy that we'd have to give up. So if we just offer this straight up, a valuable asset in LeBron James, obviously. Um, so if we throw in LaMelo, we pick one of these point guards in Dame or Jason Kidd. And I throw in like Peja. Peja's got some decent value. So if we throw in Peja, is that good enough? No, they're still, they still don't want that. I'll swap best with Houston. First round pick. First round pick here. Still not liking it. What about if I just throw a couple seconds your way as well? Is that going to be good enough? No. They value LeBron very, very much, which is understandable because he's LeBron freaking James. So if I throw another player in at them, how about I throw in Jason Kidd's got a lot of value. What about Dame? Does Dame have as much value? Dame has just as much value. So Carmelo, Peja, and Dame in two first round picks gets it done. The Minnesota Timberwolves have agreed to the trade. We just brought in LeBron James to team up with Kobe Bryant and Shaq. And we have Kyrie as well. And Dirk. <laughs> All right, so now we need to we need to do some other stuff. We need to trade some other people because we have a lot of players and we don't have a lot of draft picks. So, here's what we do. We trade Duncan or not Duncan, D David Robinson. We see what we can get for him. Uh, we can get Victor won by Yama. That'd be pretty interesting. And a 2027 first round pick. Uh, who was that? That was Tony Kukoc, Tyson Chandler, and Sky Clark. Okay, interesting. So we have Cat, we have Shaq. All right. Hmm. What about Kevin Garnett? Can we talk to the the Celtics about Kevin Garnett? It's probably going to be hard because they have we have no picks. But can we talk to the Celtics about Kevin Garnett? I will give you... I would give you Dirk. I would give you... David Robinson. And I would give you somebody else. Mikael Bridges. And then some seconds that I have. Uh, we're going to need some firsts if we're going to get Kevin Garnett. That's not going to work. All right. That makes sense, though. That makes sense, though. So if I trade... Who do I want to trade, though? Trade Finder. We don't need Bosch at this point. Although Bosch played really well for us. But we don't necessarily need Chris Bosch. So Mike Conley and a 2026 first round pick. Um, John Collins, Colin Sexton, Tyson Chandler in 27. That, that one intrigues me. I like the Tyson Chandler one. We can also get Charles Oakley and Tim Hardaway. 
Evan Mobley. They've been trying to deal me Evan Mobley for a while now. James Worthy. You know what? That Evan Mobley deal is probably not that bad. We, we'd be getting a 2025 first round pick with two star value for a guy that's going to grow. It's either this or the Tyson Chandler deal. He's an 86. Evan's an 85. The only thing about this is uh, we're not giving up a second. And seconds don't really matter necessarily. I'm going to do the Tyson Chandler deal. I'm going to do the Tyson Chandler deal to get a 2027 first along with him. All right, so that adds Tyson Chandler to the roster. He might be safe. He might not be. So we'd be giving up Roy Hibbert. Let's see what we can get for Roy Hibbert now. He was basically just a sign and trade anyway, so I'm not, I don't feel any attachment to him. Andre Drummond in 2025 first. Tristan Thompson in a first. Horace Grant. We're basically looking for first round picks, and it seems like we're getting them. It's just a matter of who, we, who else we get with it. What's the player with the most value? Tristan has three and a half star. Very intriguing. Horace also has three and a half star. Greg Oden has three and a half star. Wiggins has three and a half star with a pick. It's gotta be somebody with three and a half star and a pick, obviously. Jason Terry. Three star and a two star. This is probably the best value, honestly. Because we get a three star and a two star pick. You know what? I'm gonna do that. We'll we'll dump Andre Drummond. We'll dump him. Try and get some draft picks for him. Hopefully we can. Andre Drummond will get us not the same, but we can get two top three protected picks from the Hawks. That could work. We could get one from the Jazz. Two unprotected picks from the Lakers. Hello. Thank you, LA, for doing that. All right, so now we have accumulated a ton of first round picks. I don't know if they're valued enough to get Kevin Garnett. Maybe we go a little bit further and we possibly trade Jamal. It's gonna have to be Jamal Crawford because we have a lot of shooting guards now or people that can play shooting guard at least. We don't have a lot of shooting guards on the team. Got a lot of point guards on the team though. Um, let's trade Let's trade David Robinson. He's got a lot of value, I know that. We could probably get something decent for him. Victor Wenbanyama and a first. John Collins. Uh, Jalen Suggs and a first. Hmm. You know what? Let's go talk to let's go talk to the the Celtics. We've gotten our picks back, our first round picks back. Let's go talk to the Celtics and see what they're what they're willing to do. So I'd have to throw in one of the the big time players. Obviously, David Robinson is going to be in this deal. Um, Dirk probably has to be in this deal as well. Or maybe Kevin Love. Maybe we throw Kevin Love in this deal. So right there, that's not gonna work. What about if I throw you some picks that we got from the other teams? All right, so they don't like that. If I throw you the Nets pick as well, they don't like that. What about if I throw you another player like Jamal Crawford? He might have some value that you want. Ooh, okay, they don't like that. They don't like that, but what about if I throw you another player that could have some value? Like Mikael Bridges probably has some decent value for you. All right, they don't like that at all. I bet if I throw in Dirk, it gets it done. Hmm. A lot of point guards. I don't want to throw in Jason Kidd yet because I feel like we can get something else for him. Jason Kidd's probably not going to stay on the roster. We have too many point guards already. Um, I'm just feeling like there's something. Maybe Kevin Garnett's just too hard to get. He's probably just too hard to get. All right, let's lower some of these picks. Who's out there that is a little bit easier to get? Might be a little bit easier to get. What about Mike? Oh, he's got a no trade clause. Well, nobody's got, no, 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 no. Nobody gets no trade clauses. Sorry, Mike, you don't get a no trade clause. Not when I'm trying to trade for you. We'll go in here, we'll eliminate his no trade clause. Uh, not his vitals, his contract. There we go. Remove the no trade clause, perfect. Nobody gets a, nobody gets a no trade clause around here, and at least not on opposing teams, because I'm trying to trade for people. Where's the fun in that? 
So we go to the Clippers, we go to Michael Jordan, we go to our team, we throw in David Robinson, we throw in Kevin Love, and we throw in some picks, like this Lakers pick. They think their roster is a championship roster. Oh, we just beat you, fools. We just beat you, fools, and you think you're a championship roster? They obviously don't know. Uh, no, they're not going to accept anything. Not when they're thinking they're a championship roster, that's for sure. Oh, I don't even have David Robinson out there. Did I remove David Robinson on accident? They don't like that. They don't like that. They don't like that. All right, so that's... I figured that was going to be pretty tough, even if they didn't think they were a championship roster. We'll keep moving on. We will keep moving on. See who else we got out here. Uh, Giannis. Giannis wasn't a play. Oh, he's a free agent next season. That's right. With a player option. Could Giannis come to the... They think they're a team, a championship team too? Ugh, we can't have these guys thinking they're championship teams. Nah, they're not going to trade Giannis when they think they're a championship team. Okay, so Giannis is off the board, at least for right now. Maybe during the season, they'll, they won't think that they're a championship team. I don't know. But if we keep going around the league, there are not a lot of teams with players that I'm that I'm eyeing. I mean Steph, but we have a lot of point guards already. KD, KD could be a, a, an option. I'm sad to see Carmelo on the other team, but it's okay. What about Kevin Durant? Do the Raptors think they're an option here or a championship team? They're asking me to give a, too much value. Okay, here we go. We're we're in business now for Kevin Durant. We are in business now for KD. And if I throw in Mikael Bridges, ooh, so Kevin Love, David Robinson, and three and uh, Mikael Bridges and three first round picks doesn't get Kevin Durant. Intriguing. All right, so let's go and trade Jason Kidd. I bet if I throw in Jason Kidd, that would work though. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. He's got a ton of value. Ton of value. Anybody here that is a good pickup? That trade value is not that great. Or the trade value is good. The, the suggestions aren't that great. So what about Kevin Love? What about, what, what can I get for Kevin? What can I get? I gotta get something for him, right? I gotta get something for him. Cause I don't think he's gonna fit on this team anymore. Antoine Jameson in a first, Jalen Suggs in a first, Jaron Jackson, that's interesting. CJ, Luau Dang, Horace Grant, John Collins in a second. If that was a if that was a first, I'd probably do that. But John Collins is just a second. Charles Oakley in a first is interesting. Let's do Charles Oakley in a first. We can flip Charles Oakley. I'm doing a lot of movement. I'm flipping a lot of players, but it's worth it. It's worth it. We're getting these draft picks back that we can possibly trade other players uh, to get other players. So, Dennis Johnson, JaVale McGee in a first. I'm not mad at the Andrew Wiggins trade. Or the, uh, the JaVale McGee trade. I'm not mad at that either. This Andrew Wiggins trade is very intriguing. A lottery protected Pistons pick and Andrew Wiggins. All right, so we're not going to need you, and we are not going to, honestly, not going to need Andrew Wiggins. <laughs> so, and we're not going to need Jason Kidd, but there's still the possibility that I want to throw Jason Kidd into a trade to get a star, like another star. So we have Kyrie, Kobe, LeBron, Dirk, and Shaq. That's our starting five. That's elite. Then off the bench... Penny, LaMelo, Powell, Carl Anthony Towns, Ray Allen, Mikael Bridges, Tyson Chandler. So we need a better small forward off the bench. No disrespect to Mikael, but he could be getting moved. He could be getting moved for a, for a small forward off the bench. That's a higher overall. And that small forward off the bench is not in this trade. So maybe we have to build our own trade. 
maybe, just maybe, we got to build our own trade for a small forward that could be elite coming off the bench. Like a Jimmy Butler. That would be interesting. He probably wouldn't be super hard to get. If the Heat didn't think they were a championship team, I would go for Giannis, but I just don't think that's going to be possible. We've already tried it. Small forward coming off the bench. So far, I'm liking the Jimmy Butler option. Plus, he's a 91 overall. Dominique is a 95. We already tried Kevin Durant. I guess we could try Paul George. Paul George coming off the bench would be pretty elite. He'd probably be a little harder to get, though. Hmm. Paul George for David Robinson. What does that do straight up? They're interested in the trade. They want LaMelo, and they'll give me Mike Bibby. Um, sorry, boys. I'm not interested in that. I will give you Jamal Crawford and a first-round pick. I have plenty of them. They're asking to give up way too much. Come on. You got to be green with this. I'll give you two more seconds. Come on. You got to accept that. That's a deal. I'm giving you a deal here. They don't even accept that. Oh, man. Okay. What about if I throw in Andrew Wiggins? The deal's done. We got Paul George. Okay, so that's our power for, That's our small forward off the bench. That's our small forward off the bench. We got Paul George now. So we have a backup small forward to go alongside that. We have... Um, I kind of want to see if I can get Dwayne Wade. Maybe this is where we use Jason Kidd to get Dwayne Wade to come off the bench for Kobe. Dwayne's over here. He's in he's in Trailblazers. So Dwayne Wade, we throw Jason Kidd in the deal. Ah, they think they're a championship team. No. The Blazers think they're a championship team. I don't think anything. Yeah, I don't think anything is gonna be good enough to get Dwayne Wade. Even if I threw in like Mikhail Bridges, who they they value highly, and all the first round picks that I have. Yeah, they they don't. Dwayne Wade's too valuable to them in their championship team. That sucks. Is there a shooting guard out there that would be good off the bench? Probably is. I just got to find him. Bradley Beal off the bench would be awesome. I like the Bradley Beal off the bench thing. Manu off the bench obviously would be elite. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else off the bench? That could be elite. Clay Thompson would be pretty crazy. Uh, Mike Miller or Reggie Miller would be crazy off the bench. Reggie Miller's been going crazy, by the way, in the first two seasons. Like 28 points. Reggie Miller's going crazy. I like either Tracy McGrady or Bradley Beal as the shooting guard. Let's go Bradley Beal. That's way too much to get to give to Bradley Beal. Or to give to the Knicks. Uh, let's take away some of these picks. I feel like Jason Kidd is could be used in something else. So if I give them... If I give them... I don't know. Probably have to be picks. Maybe Jason Kidd is gonna have to be in this one. Yeah, Jason Kidd's definitely gonna have to be in this one. Alright, we'll put him in. This is probably gonna be the last trade because they're not interested in it. So if I throw him a first round pick, that gets it done. So Jason Kidd in a first round pick gets it done for Bradley Beal. So the roster now becomes what it is. This has been the craziest uh, off season I've ever done. And we still got to move on from Mikhail Bridges because I feel like he's just not going to get any playing time. Tyson Chandler's probably not going to get any playing time either because we have so many point guards. Kyrie, Penny, and, Lam and Lamello. All right, Mikhail's got to go. Mikhail's got to go. But who... We probably just trade him for draft picks if we can get him. 
Are they going to offer me draft picks? They are going to offer me draft picks. We can get... I thought that said Nikola Jokic for a second. I was like, what? Uh, but it's Nikola Jovic. <laughs> they almost got me on that one. Almost got me. All right. So let's look for some decent valued first round picks. And then we'll obviously just flip the player. Uh, the Clippers? Sure. Clippers give me Tristan Thompson in a first. We'll flip Tristan Thompson for hopefully another first because he's not going to get any playing time for us. And there we go. Two top 10 protected picks from the Atlanta Hawks. Thank you very much. All right. So our future draft picks, we have a ton of first round picks now that we've accumulated that we can obviously trade in the future. But our roster now looks like this. If I can go to the, can I go to the game plan? I can't. I can only do that during the season. So our roster is now very, very star heavy. Kobe, LeBron, Shaq, Kyrie, Dirk, Paul George, Penny, LaMelo, Powell, Bradley Beal, Carl Anthony Towns, Ray Allen, and Tyson Chandler. I think I'm done trading. Look at the spacing on this team. Everybody can shoot the three ball except for Tyson Chandler and Shaq. The spacing on this team is elite. Actually elite. I think that's going to do it for um, trading for right now because I don't really think that we have any other options. Or, well, we have options, but I don't think there's really enough value. So we'll go to player progress progression. We'll let everybody sign where they sign. Player progression, everybody goes up. Well, not everybody, but Paul George goes up to a 95. Penny's up to a 94. Powell's up to a 94. LaMelo stays. That's interesting. Bradley Beal drops to a 91. Interesting. I didn't think Lame uh, Lame LaMelo would stay. Summer League, All-Star City Selection will pick the city, even though I forget that every time. Uh, Kyle Kuzma's on our team. Uh, I didn't know Kyle Kuzma was on our team, but he's got a season-ending season ending injury. Let's change the city. Let's go to... Let's go to... Let's go to Washington. We'll go to Washington, D.C., the capital. We'll auto-generate the draft class, and we'll advance to the next season. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are into season number four. Oh, Kyle Kuzma wasn't on our team. He was in the... He must have been in the, the other thing. We'll release Dorian Finney-Smith because he's not going to ever play for us. So this is what the roster is going to look like for the start of the season. We've got Kyrie, Kobe, LeBron, Dirk, and Shaq. That's an elite starting five. Absolutely elite. Then we've got Paul George, Penny, Powell, LaMelo, Carl Anthony Towns, Bradley Beal, Ray Allen, and Tyson Chandler off the bench. Everybody's going to get minutes. Everybody's going to play well. And we're going to dominate because we have the best team ever. I am gonna work on the jerseys to make sure that, um, to make sure that uh, everybody's got the right jersey number. And we will play the first home game against the, against the Bucks because that's gonna be the ring ceremony. So we will do that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. We made some massive moves in the off season here. This was probably my most favorite off season that we've ever done. We brought in LeBron James, brought in some crazy players. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.